I, I really don't care what anybody says. I really don't. I mean, to me, it, it's one of these situations where it's it's hard to win. It's hard to win when you have that big of a disadvantage in goal. Again, I'm not sitting here telling you that they, you know they, there isn't some miracle scenario, but I think that if they have to rely on Domingue to play, it's it's going to be really tough to come back and win this thing. And to me, that's that's really what it what it is. And and I and I feel like it's going to be you know really really important for them to win on Saturday. Because if they lose on Saturday, you know, then I think you could be looking at a real real uh, problem and everything else. It's just amazing to me. <clears throat> it really is. <clears throat> you can't figure out how to do it. You're you're not going to be able to do it, and you're not going to be able to come back if you don't have Casey DeSmith, at least Casey DeSmith and Tristan Jari, hopefully, you know, back. I, I just think that it's going to be really difficult. I think one of the things, the other thing that's going to happen is this series starts to wear on is we're going to start to see the age of the Penguins. Stars show up. I mean, there have been times when the Rangers have skated circles around them. And I think that that's going to be, you know, something that's really going to be a problem as well. But to me, tonight's game showed you that you probably are not winning a thing if you don't get one of your goalies back. Because I think, again, it's going to be really difficult, I think, really difficult to win with a minor leaguer playing goalie. I'm not saying, it, I'm not saying that it's, it's his fault tonight. That's not at all what I'm saying. You know, they didn't play a great game in, in a lot of areas, you know. But to me, it's really difficult. It's really difficult to come from behind and win every single game. And if you've got a goalie in here who's just not quite up to the task, you could be behind in a lot of these games, and that could be a problem. You know, you've got to try and figure out how to make the most. Um, you have to you have to try and figure out how to. Uh, uh, make the most of your opportunities. And I thought tonight was an opportunity. You know, it was one-to-one. -one, um, and, and frankly, you know, it was still only three-to-two at the end of the second period. But I'm telling you, one of the things that's going to continue to happen, one of the things that's going to continue to happen <clears throat> is they are going to basically go out and they're going to see this kid more and more, and they're going to figure out exactly, they're going to figure out exactly how to beat him and what his vulnerability, vulnerability is. And that's what I would tell you. I think it's, um, it's, it's important to remember that. These teams all, they all watch a lot of film. They all understand, you know, what they're watching on film. And this was the first time they actually seen, they've actually seen this situation. Where, you know, we've, you know, this is a, a situation where they've actually seen them now for, you know, what, three periods today and what, three periods or two and a half periods on the other day. That's what I would say. I mean, to me, that that's going to be the, the, the Penguins' downfall. I just don't think that they're going to have enough opportunities to, to, you know, to get back into this if they keep losing, you know, if they, if they don't get their goalies back. 
And I'm not saying that because I'm blaming tonight's game on him. I'm just saying that because I think it's pretty clear he's not going to be good enough. I mean, you know, you've got – we haven't even – you know, so, so Zirkin, what, what 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 did he have, uh, 73 or 79 saves the other night, right? We haven't even seen him. He almost stole that game, but we haven't even seen him steal a game yet. And, you know, I just don't know. I don't think you're going to be able to win if you're going to have to score more than three goals every game. And I think that if you're going to have this Domingue kid in, in goal, you're going to have to score at least three or four – you're going to three or four goals to win every game. That's just what I would tell you because it's important that you um, understand that. It's important that you understand that if you're not quite good enough, then to me, um, you, you really have to remember that in the playoffs, the margin for error is very little, very, very little. And that's what I would tell you. You got to remember that. It's a very little margin for error. Two evenly matched teams. When you have that big of an edge in goal, then guess what? It's really difficult to overcome. So that's going to be something to watch the, the, the rest of the way.